Hello, and welcome to another IPAI training video on our new student portal. Today, we are going to go over how to browse our course catalog so that you can find the classes you want to take. First, we're here on our student homepage. You can see we're still using our test account, Mr. Bodie McBoatface, uh, to register today. First thing you're going to do is you're going to click on this bright yellow button that says Browse Catalog. Once the catalog has loaded, you will see a number of options to be able to find the courses that you would like to take. Right now, if you scroll down, the courses or the meals, in this case right here, since it's the spring conference meals, are in order in the way that they were loaded into the system. Now, this may work for you, if, uh, for you finding particular courses, but if you'd like to narrow it down a bit more, there is a great search box right here. And you can do things like, I'd like to attend the spring conference, and that's in normal. So you could type in normal, the city where a course is being held, and hit search. You can see that it is now displaying all of the courses that will be held in normal. These right here are part of our normal qualifying series. And these others are part of the spring conference that will be held in March of next year. Let's try searching a different way. If there is a particular conference you would like to attend, say the Central Conference, which will be taking place in Peoria, just type in the word Central into the search box and hit Enter. You can see that now all of the courses taking place at the Central Conference are displayed on the screen. Let's do one more. The third way to use the search option is to type in a course name, say Illinois Tax Policy. This will now show you at the very top, the first thing that pops up is that course, Illinois Tax Policy. There are other ways to be able to search the course catalog. On the left hand side, you can see that you can browse by category. You can also filter by price range, although most of our classes are the same price, so that may not be overly helpful for you. And you can check these boxes as well to help you uh, search by category that way. Let's go ahead and go back to the main catalog page now. There are two more items I'd like to show you. Right here, we are currently showing all courses that the IPAI is offering this year. If you click on this box, it will show you Featured. These are special courses uh, that we are featuring. They may be new courses or courses we would like to highlight for our students for one reason or another. So with that box being clicked on, all of our featured courses are here and these will change as we go throughout the year. We click back onto the All button. Another way to be able to search through the course catalog is right over here, the Sort By button. If you click on that, you can see the option there to sort these courses by date added, price, type, and alphabetical title. Now that we've learned how to search for a course, a conference, or a city where a course is taking place, let's go ahead and go into a course and see what it looks like within the new student portal. Let's start right here with partial interests and taxable leaseholds. This is a brand new course that the IPAI is rolling out in 2020. So you can click on the title right here, and it brings up the course information. You can see in total, there are five sessions available uh, during next year, taking place in 2020. You can see right here when the registration deadline is for this course, March 16th, 11.59 p.m., and that's because it's taking place at our spring conference. You can see the dates right there that the course is taking place. Right here, spring conference seminar, partial interest and taxable leaseholds. Now, if you'll notice down here, there's spring conference exam, partial interest and taxable leaseholds. So you'll have to pick which session you're going to take, whether it's going to be seminar or exam. So be sure to keep an eye out on that as you're registering for courses. 
Now back up here, if you click on this, the blue, where it says Spring Conference Seminar with the title of a course, it's going to bring this box up. It's going to give you a description of the course so you have an idea of what that course is about and what will be covered and what some of the learning objectives are. Right here, it says, for more information about the Spring Conference, please visit our website. If you click on this link, it will open up the page in the IPAA website that has information about the conference, including hotel information, the conference schedule, directions on how to get there, and more. So that's going to exist on every single course page. There'll always be that option, no matter what the course is, if it's at a conference or a workshop, there'll be a link right here where you can click on, take you right to the, our website for detailed information about the location and the hotel. So go ahead and uh, either X out or hit OK. Now, another nice feature about the uh, new student portal is right here where it says Marriott Hotel and Conference Center. If you take your mouse and uh, you click on that gray line right there, it's going to bring up this box, and right here is a link to the course location on Google Maps you can click on. It'll open it up in a new tab for you. And right there is the, uh, is the hotel where the spring conference is taking place. And it is just an easy way for you to be able to uh, find the exact uh, location, be able to look for directions. So let's go ahead and go back to the course catalog. Right here, you can see that there are 19 seats available. Um, prior to uh, a wait list, which we'll, uh, we'll, we'll cover in the next video. Um, right here, add reminder to external calendar. So if you click that, you can download this into your Outlook calendar. And then lastly, it shows credits awarded 15 CE hours. So you know how many continuing education hours you are receiving uh, for taking this particular course. Now, as we scroll down, within this uh, partial interest in taxable leaseholds course, you can see besides these two offerings at the Spring Conference, it's also being offered in Lake County. It's the Lake County Workshop this year. Scroll down a little bit more, you can see it's being offered at the Northeast Conference, both as a seminar and as an exam. Um, and at the very bottom is a, uh, a description about the course, uh, just sort of as the pop-up showed before. And then finally, a quick, easy place for you to be able to contact the IPAI registrar. So that gives you a quick overview of what happens when you click on the, a course title and takes you through the steps uh, with all the information that you'll need to be able to discover more about that course and whether or not you'd like to take it. In our next video, we're going to cover how to put that course into your cart and uh, formally sign up for it. So look forward to seeing you then.